Welcome, Goody Gumdrop friends, and Merry Christmas! I'm so excited to tell you a story that is as dandy as the candy treats I make for my family. Do you want to hear it? Yeah! Oh, goody! Then click on your listening ears, boys and girls. Click, click, click and don't forget to put on your special eyes. Zoop, zoop! zoop. I love to read stories from God's Word even more than I like to bake my famous fruitcake. Do you know what God's Word is? The Bible! Why, yes indeedy! Now this is a story about Joseph and his wife Mary. One day he said to her, We must go back to my hometown and write our names in the king's tax book. Joseph and Mary didn't have a car or even a bicycle, so they had to pack all their things on the back of a donkey. Can you make a noise like a donkey? Hee-haw! Hee-haw! Oh, you silly friends! You sounded just like the donkey Joseph and Mary used to travel. Now Mary's baby was ready to be born very soon, so she rode on the donkey while Joseph walked beside her. They had to walk a long time before they made it to Bethlehem. I'm sure they were tired and hot from the long journey. Let me see you pretend to cool yourself off by fanning like this. Great job! Finally, Joseph and Mary made it to Bethlehem, the town where Joseph was from. There were people everywhere. Joseph and Mary needed a place to sleep, but there was no room. Joseph knocked on the door of an inn, which is like a hotel you might stay in on vacation. Let's all pretend to knock on the door and say, knock, knock, knock. Ready? Knock, knock, knock. 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 Perfect. Now let's see what the innkeeper said when he came to the door. The innkeeper told Joseph that all the rooms were full. But then he said, wait, you can use the stable. A stable was like a barn where all the cows, donkeys, and sheep slept. Joseph and Mary were just happy to have a place to rest. But something truly amazing happened in the stable that night. God's son, Jesus, was born. Mary wrapped Jesus up safe and warm and laid him down in the manger. That night, God sent his very own son, Jesus, to be with us. Now I want you to say this in your happiest Goody Gumdrop voice. Repeat after me. Jesus is... Jesus is... God's son. God's son. You sound just delightful. Have a super sweet time collecting more Goody Gumdrops. I hope to see you soon. It's time to play the Goody Gumdrops game. To play the game, we have to give our game jar a good shaky shake shake. It'll show us where to move next on the game board. Everywhere we stop, we have to answer a question correctly to collect one gumdrop. When we collect all three gumdrops, we will win the game. So let's shake the game jar together. Oh boy! We get to move to the lollipop square. Let's hop until we land on the lollipop. The first question we have to answer is, was Bethlehem empty or full of people? You got it! Mary and Joseph traveled a long way to Bethlehem and it was full of people when they arrived. We got our first gumdrop. Good job! Now let's give the game jar another shake to find out where we go next. Oh look! We get to visit the gingerbread house. Let's march together. The second question is, where did Mary and Joseph end up staying? A bowl or a stable? Right again! The innkeeper said all the rooms were full, so Joseph and Mary ended up staying in a stable. 
We earned another gum drop. Nice work! Only one more to go. Let's give the game drawer one last shake to find out where we go next. Yippee! We get to skate on over to the sweet tree forest. Let's skate until we land on the candy coated trees. The last question is, what was the name of the very special baby born in the stable? John or Jesus? That's right! Jesus was born in the stable on the very first Christmas night. Jesus is the most special baby ever because he is God's son. Hip hip hooray! We found all three gum drops and won the game. Great job, guys! It's time to celebrate. Let's get up and sing together. Everyone who's a child of God has the power to win. Everyone who's a child of God. Has the power to win So let's hop, let's hop. Now, stop. now stop Let's spin Do it again So let's hop The savior of the world And now We can call him friend God sent his son He's the savior of the world And now We can call him friend Jesus Savior Jesus Savior We will tell Son, he's the savior of the world, and now we can call him friend. God sent his son, he's the savior of the world, and now we can call him friend. Jesus, Savior, Jesus. Thanks for joining us. See you next week.